This Tuesday, we were making a promotional video for a business event, and a couple of guys had to throw their champagne glass over the camera. Unfortunately, one of those glasses didn't make it over the camera, but instead it broke, and I've got two stitches in my cheek right now. You know, being a cameraman is a pretty dangerous job. But let's look at the positive things this week because we've launched our new website. I've been working like more than two months on this new website. It's complete redesign. We've also got tons of new features on it, like a store where you can buy film gear from, our courses, some free stuff, etc. You can click on the cards up there to go to that new website, or also you can find links to it in the description below. Now, someone asks me how I created that website, and very simply, for those who are familiar with it, I've installed a WordPress onto my server, then I bought a team, I installed that team, I've done some custom modifications on that team, because I'm actually, I actually have a nerd's background, and uh, then I just took a bunch of pictures, put them together, and voila, we have a website. And your T Delta White asks, what slider model do you recommend? Uh, it's like a similar question I had from more people, like what slider do you have or what slider do you use, etc. Anyways, I don't have that much experience with different kinds of sliders. I've only worked with the Canova one, the Kessler uh, Cine slider, and also the Edelkron slider. Uh, all three of them are pretty good. They all have their benefits. I believe that, for uh, for example, the uh, the Kessler slider, they are really sturdy. If you're working with like with like big, bigger cameras, like cinema cameras, big lenses and everything, then uh, I would say go for such a slider. Uh, but they aren't so compact as the Edelkron sliders, which actually have a very interesting design. When you go to the right, for example, the slider will actually expand itself through a very cool mechanism that they've created. So it's like a very compact slider, which you can bring very easily to like events or something where there are, where there's like a big crowd. And then there's of course the Canova slider, which I work with, and I just love that slider. It's very compact, it's lightweight, and it's very sturdy. It actually has like the, the, all the elements that the Kessler and the Ilkron slider has. Um, so yeah, I would actually, if I would recommend this slider, then I would say go for the Canova slider, as I have a lot of experience with that one. I've been working with that slider for over three years now. Uh, the same slider still, and it still works great. It's great build quality, it, it just works. Now this Tuesday, I didn't only have a champagne glass stuck in my cheek, but I also uploaded a review video about the Ceremonic Wireless Microphone. And if you haven't seen that yet, you can click again in the card up there to see that video. Now I forgot to test one thing, and that was the range of that microphone, or the transmitters actually. And Freddy here asks me, does this have a big range and does the receiver and transmitter require to be in sight? Uh, well, we did the tests. I actually asked my intern to walk away, or actually run away as far as he could. And we were able to get around 100 meters um, without any obstacles between, but also with having obstacles, because we're also trying it like I was inside the office all the way back, and then he would run outside. And we were able to get the same range somehow, also around that 100 meters, uh, which is actually kind of the same as with the Sennheiser set, which we were also testing. Uh, the Sennheiser set were, could have like a slightly bigger range, uh, but it wasn't usable anymore at 100 meters uh, because we were just having too many cracks in the Sennheiser set. Um, so I would actually safely say that the Ceremonix, the cheaper ones, uh, have a very good range compared to the Sennheiser's one. Now, Freddy also asked me if I could do a review about the Ceremonic UE MiG-10. And when I read that comment, I instantly popped Ceremonic an email asking them if I could also do a review about that. And they, like, within an hour, they sent me an email back like, sure, I've already shipped it to you. So, um, it's a great relationship that I have with Ceremonic. I really love to work for them. Um, because they value my honesty, uh, and that's not something every brand uh, actually likes. Because I sometimes have like brands that ask me if I could do a review for their product, and I have to be 100% honest. Uh, I'm sorry, I have to be 100% positive about every feature of that product, and that's not something I want to do. I want to give my honest review to you guys. So um, and that's something that I really like with Ceremonic. So yeah, that review will also come somewhere next month probably. 
The next question comes from Jenny and she asked me would I invest in a Sony a7S or the Canon C100 Mark II? And camera questions are always very hard to answer because it's basically a personal choice. Both cameras have, have benefits over the other, so I can't really tell you that one is better than the other one because it depends on what you're doing, what kind of style that you have, what your preference is, you know, a smaller form factor or a bigger camera. So uh, I can't give you the answer, unfortunately. But I can give you some advice, and that is to think or know that the camera isn't the only thing that will do the magic. You know, if you're going to spend, let's for example, say $10,000 into a camera, what money do you have left to buy other equipment like lighting, a good microphone, etc., studio equipment maybe? Um, so know that. Also, when you're going to invest into a camera, how many years would you like to use that camera? For instance, when I bought my GH4, which is a very cheap camera, at front I said I want to do maximum one year with this camera. And I said that that's at front. And it's, it's always so, so easy to do that because you put your money into something, sometimes a lot of money, like a Canon C100 Mark II, is, you will put a lot of money into it. And then all that he's saying when it's brand new, in let's say two years or three years, I will dump this camera. It's not easy to do, but you have to do this because that also makes you realize that how fast the market is growing. You know, recently Sony announced the uh, 6000, the Alpha 6300 or something. If I saw those specs for that money, I believe we're going pretty fast here. So I don't think you can buy anymore a camera that will last for five years. So know where you're putting your money in. If you're going to buy like lighting, that can probably last a bit longer. Uh, but cameras these days, they don't last that long anymore. So know that at front, know where you're putting your money in. Uh, so that's the advice I can give you. And the last question for today comes from Infinite Videography and he asks me, what do you think about the Blackmagic Video Assist? Um, personally, and that's again, personally, I wouldn't invest in something like that because I don't see it as a big upgrade from recording internally. If you really want to upgrade the quality of your recordings, then I would say go for an Odyssey or something, which is of course a lot more expensive. But if you're looking like a better monitor, perhaps, then I can suggest these new small HD monitors, which are a lot more compact, a lot more lightweight, because the video assist looks kind of bulky to me. Uh, although I must say that I haven't uh, touched it yet. It just looks bulky on pictures to me. Um, but again, it's a personal choice. It's for everything, everything that comes down to gear. I can only say what I like, but again, for everyone, that's a different choice. Um, so yeah, I hope I helped you a bit with that. And that was it again for this week's Q&A. So if you have any questions, pop them in the comments below and I will like take out a few for next week's Q&A video. Also, don't forget to check out our brand new website. Links in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay creative.